Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac and Jack. Welcome back to our channel. Jack's excited, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my latest thrift haul. And it's actually been a while since I have filmed one of these videos. And of course I have a giant pile sitting over here. And it's also made me realize that uh, I really need to cut back on my thrifting because I do find so many goodies for myself while I'm out trying to find things to sell in my shops. But yeah, I have to uh, pull back a little bit and I haven't been thrifting as much because I don't need anything. I did find some really cool things. Some of the stuff I've had for months and I'm just now showing y'all. I write things down in a notebook and then I go to grab everything when I film these videos and that's how I keep up with it. Um, yeah, just sit back and relax and we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I have here, um, it used to be a blanket, but I had an idea and decided to make a dress so I can be a walking vending machine. <laughs> so it has all these different sodas on it. Which is funny because I do not drink soda at all. I haven't had soda in years. I don't know the last time I had a Coke or um, one of these Fanta drinks or even Sprite, uh, Cherry Coke. I don't know, but I just loved all these colors on this. And um, so I made a fleece dress for the winter and I put this neck piece around here so that way it'll stay up really good. So yeah, it's kind of long too, but you know, it um it just really worked out because the the end of the blanket like the uh, piping here worked out for the bottom of the dress and then the tag just happened to be right here so it's at the very bottom and so I love that little that coca-cola detail i just think that's so cool so i was excited to find this and i knew i was totally gonna make a dress out of it next thing is another clothing item it is a toy story christmas top jacket look at how adorable like i need any more christmas stuff like i am literally overflowing in my closet with christmas stuff because i can't stop Anytime I see a cute Christmas top or jacket or leggings, oh my gosh, like I just have to get it. So this was coming home with me and it actually came with the pants. So I guess it is a pajama set, but the pants are listed for sale on my Poshmark if you're interested. My Poshmark is Max Closet, M-A-C apostrophe S Closet. Of course, I did find a few plushies, I always do, and ugh, I'm so bad about getting them. And I love collecting vintage plush stuffed animals, so I found this little Ringmaster plush, the bear, and it's kind of funny the way it is. It's like, I don't know, it's got like styrofoam balls in it or something really weird, but this, I don't, oh. Okay, so it is from 1995. I just saw that. I didn't even realize what year it was from. So I just think it is so adorable and it just goes in my crazy closet, so. And then I found this little bear plush. It says, my old Kentucky dinner train, 1988. I don't even know what that is, but I love trains and I love stuffed animals and I love bears. So, I mean, hello, this is just perfect for me. He's just so adorable. I also found this bear plush, which is kind of unique. It's a little marine bear and he's got these plastic shoes on. He doesn't have a uniform on, so it looks kind of funny with just the shoes and the hat, but I still think it is absolutely adorable. I don't know what year this is from, but I do think it is vintage. Um, I, I do think it's a little bit older. Of course, I found some hats. Y'all know I love to buy my hats. Oh my gosh, I, I can't fit any more in my closet, so I can't buy any more. But I probably will. Like, somehow, I'll just squeeze it into my closet. I found this Disney. It's actually a Disney Parks hat, and it's lime green and pink. And if you look close, it's got the Mickey 
Mickey head on it and all the hearts. So I, I really like how this fits and it actually goes with this outfit kind of. I kind of like it together. And it's kind of big on me, but I actually do like it. It's got a very comfortable band inside here. Seems like all their hats do. So they're very good quality. I also found this brown fur hat. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear it with, but it fits a little tight but I I don't think that it's like gonna give me a headache or anything. I just really like how it looks on. I think it looks really luxurious and soft. I'm not a brown person. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I really don't have much brown going on in my closet. So this was kind of like a different purchase for me, but I think I can make this work with something. And even what I'm wearing now, like it would still coordinate. You know, I don't think I would pair this together, but it could still work. It could go together. I have been looking for a Bozo plush for the longest. I had one when I was a kid and I don't know what happened to it. The one that I had when I was a kid is pretty expensive most of the time. So y'all know I only like to pay like $2 and I think this was $2. <laughs> this isn't the one I had, but I really like Bozo. And so this had to come home with me. I don't think that this is vintage. The tag does not look vintage to me and the way it feels and the eyes and stuff. You can tell by the eyes a lot of times if it's vintage. I am a little disappointed at how worn out this is. He's got some little bits missing in his nose. Well, they're not really missing, but it's like some little indentions, but he does have a few little places on his shoes here. Another hat, it is another Disney Parks hat actually, and it has Mickey Mouse here. And then the ears. I think I'm gonna wear it like this. I really like wearing my hats backwards if y'all haven't noticed. But it is really cute from the front too. I have like four Disney ear hats and I don't know why. I've never been to Disney in my life. I'm probably never gonna go. Next up is another stuffed plush animal and this one actually I got from a thrift store called Steered Straight. I think I paid a dollar for this and this is the year that I was born so I thought it was kind of special. And so I think um I want to say that this is yes it is a Kmart bear. Like Kmart had all these bears that came out every single year and so I actually saw this at the store and I was like I don't need it. I don't need it. And I went back and got it and now it sits in this chair that I'm sitting in when I'm not using it and it's just perfect. Like it, it worked out so good. I have a few clothing items to show y'all. I bought these forever ago, like back in the summer, I bought these tops. It's a Forever 21 palm tree short sleeve crop top. And this is just so cute. Like this is such a cool vacation shirt. I have totally worn this on vacation and I loved it. It was just, it's just so easy to put on and very comfortable. And I also wore this one to the beach and it's actually, it looks kind of vintage, but it's Wild Fable, which I think is Target. I don't shop at Target, um, but I do find a lot of this Wild Fable brand at Goodwill. So I got both of these from Goodwill and I think they were both $6. I don't think they were like half off or anything. But I think that it was totally worth $6 because these are really nice. I don't even think they've been worn. And then I found this pretty recently, a purple velvet jacket. I love this color. I love purple. I love all colors. This is actually from Shein. It's a little bit big, but I like how it's big because the sleeves are a little bit bigger. And I think... I think this was $7 or $6, I can't remember. And I found this awesome toy for my closet, of course. LOL surprise, and it's a little karaoke thing. I, you know, I don't even know if it works. I think there is a little thing that you're supposed to hook up to it. And I don't know if it's supposed to come with it. I don't plan on selling this. I thought about it, but I really don't want to because it's awesome. It's got this gold glitter in it. It's just fun. I like to just look at cool things in my closet. And I did pay 
$7.99 for this, which to me is a little steep for a, you know, a toy that I'm not even sure works. I have a couple more plushies. I have a Bucky's plush. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Right now it's in my closet, but I may end up um, selling it. And then I found this pink gorilla. It's very bright. This one I'm actually going to put on a top that I've made. I'm going to just put it on here. I may take some of the stuffing out. I probably should because it's just, it's going to be too much, I think. So I think I'm just going to put his hands like this and yeah, so I think it's going to be a little too poofy if I just like leave all this stuffing in it. So yeah, we'll see. And then I got this awesome bag months ago, this zebra print bag. And I don't remember what I paid for this. I want to say it was like $8, which is kind of high, but it's a very nice travel bag. And it was a little worn out in a couple areas. Like there's some marks here. But overall, you know, I washed it and it, it cleaned up very nice. It's got this gorgeous purple lining inside. Right now I'm using it to store a bunch of head wraps. And uh, it's working pretty well for me. So yeah it's it's great i'm gonna use it when i travel it's a really good size bag last but not least y'all know i'm gonna show you the weirdest thing that i found this little toy food cart and i thought to myself i don't need it i don't need it i need it <laughs> i decided that i was gonna use it to store some stuff in my closet so i have a bunch of hair accessories in here so if you open this little door little pizza oven you can get to it through there too and then on this little handle I decided to put some head wraps on here I have a ton I have too much stuff you guys but this is to help store things so I keep this in my closet and I store all, well, not all my hair accessories, but some of my hair accessories, all of my hair ties and like little clips are in here. So it helps me stay organized at least. Yeah, that is all the crazy, weird, fun stuff I have to show y'all today. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did shopping for it. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite item was. Comment whatever you want to. I love when you guys talk to me. Thank you so much for watching and Jack and I will see you guys in our next video. You wanna say bye? You say bye to them? You've been so good this whole time.